And then now you look at both teams completely different. Crazy. Um, and and it's, it's crazy to see. And like I said, Josh Allen uh, last week had 297 yards, three touchdowns, two picks. But, I mean, it, it's weird. Picks don't really matter unless they lose the game. You don't really talk about it. You're like, ah, he, he kind of right. – Yeah. Diggs yeah. had nine targets, eight receptions, 122 yards, touchdown. That's another person you kind of have to keep an eye on. Uh, Gabe Davis, I believe, the giant. I mean, he – I mean, he's showing up too as well. Five mm-hmm. targets, four receptions, 88 yards, touchdown. Um, the Bills look impressive defense-wise. Von Miller, it's crazy how such an – I mean, yeah, he's at the tail end of his his career, but he still has enough juice, and his name, his presence still – you, you got to respect it, right? Well, you want to know what he's brought to the team even more so than what he's done on the field. And I mean, last week – You know, throughout the offseason, Von Miller didn't really do all that much on the field because a lot of, you know, veterans days off. And um, it's just like you said, he's to the point in his career where a lot of these guys. Yeah, exactly. They just kind of don't take the field all that often at training camp. And of course, during um, the preseason games, most every team benches anybody who's, you know, going to be out there day one. But the one thing that I had looked at with all or not, excuse me, not Oliver, um, I got him on the mind because I'm thinking about the guys that have really benefited right off the bat from bringing Von Miller in. I had felt that the addition of Von Miller was going to be obviously terrific for our pass rush, but I thought even more so it was going to be beneficial for all the young talent that the bills currently have on the D line. A lot of those guys are within their first two or three years Mm -hmm. and they outside of Jerry Hughes, who was a great player for the bills, but never a guy like Von Miller. He's bringing in a whole different presence and right out of the gate last week, we saw everybody on that D line have an impact. And I think it has a lot to do with Von Miller. Yeah, definitely. I mean, the pass rush, I think they had seven sacks, 15 pressures, with zero blitz. I mean, that right there shows you that's, that's, that's a defense that that's, that's scary, but you guys are good on the pass rush. Now, exactly. now the defense defensive run is a different thing. Same thing with the Titans, the di- the Titans, we had five sacks with AQB hits. We looked good on the pass rush, but our defense, we fell flat, let it letting, you know, Barkley get off 32 carries for 238 yards. I mean, you ain't going to win a game like that. So as one point, yeah, pass, pass defense worked. Then we, you know, we, we lose the run defense, which hopefully we'll yeah. pick it up. Um, again, you guys got Singletary. He did, he did decent. I mean, eight carries, 48 yards, no, nothing too crazy, but you got to be careful with Josh Allen as well from his arm and his legs as he could be, uh, I mean, he could be a, a threat. So that's the thing I think we have to to kind of keep on our toes, you know, keep Josh Allen in the pocket, make him uncomfortable, hit him as much as possible. And hopefully everything else will will tie in together. What do you think, man? What do you think about the Bills? So the way I look at this game, uh, it's similar to the way I looked at the Rams game, but in a totally different way. So going into the Rams game, it was going to be our first opportunity to take a look at this pass rush that we were just talking on. It's pretty much a completely revamped D line for the bills. And the way that the majority of the fan base has felt is that the bills were a legitimate pass rush away from really being the solidified top one to three team in the league. You know, everybody has their debates, but that really felt like the missing piece to be able to ascend to that next level. They lost the AFC championship two years ago to Mahomes because they couldn't touch him. The following, you know, game for the Chiefs in the Super Bowl, the Bucs had one of the best pass rushes all year that year. They completely shut down Mahomes unlike we've ever seen. So we realized, hey, if the Bills have something similar to that, it's really going to take us to the next level. Now, last week, like you mentioned, seven sacks, zero blitzes and they knocked down Stafford 15 times, but that's a more pass oriented offense. Mm-hmm. So I was interested to see how they handled, you know, a top tier quarterback, which Matt Stafford is this week is going to be their first and probably biggest task as far as stopping the run last year, they got shredded by your Titans and Derrick Henry, three touchdowns, 143 yards. And then Jonathan Taylor absolutely took them to school last, uh, last year when the bills played the Colts, they allowed a ton of big runs and a lot of, you know, major, uh, major yardage plays to where they just got down the field with ease running the ball. This week is the biggest opportunity i think we'll have all season to really get to understand 
yeah, we know this Bills D is is showing us they're going to be capable of stopping the pass game with a with a really good quarterback. Can they stop one of the premier rushers in the league? If they can do that, you think, you know, the, the Bills mafia right now has been through the roof. If they can shut down Derrick Henry, I mean, I, it's going to go to another level. But, yeah. hey, he's had their way with him. And last year, I mean, he really, really went off. <laughs> 